Welcome viewers you are watching your own channel Softy Demi today we will discuss about how we control expense cost by importing and exporting excel file into primavera p6 so here i will open my primavera p6 so while we opening primavera p6 i will introduce my lecture so what i am going to discuss today so i will discuss you about the introduction of my today's content so microsoft excel is often used as a platform for the organization of project data and xls data files can import to primavera p6 professional this makes these xls file microsoft excel spreadsheets a suitable intermediary between project team members and primavera p6 professional i will see an edit bl residential project i will open here this project so first i will go here in the column and i will find the two columns here budget expense cost and budget total cost you can go here and find here budget expense cost and budget total cost it's not matter that you have a labor cost assigned non labor or material cost so expense cost is a separate issue so you can go through this schedule so i don't have any budget total cost here so i will even work in a budget expense cost so i will first i will go here in a expense cost here i have already did a lecture on project expenses but today i will just go through a fast fast way where you can get your expenses in the project so activities i will see here activities project expenses there is no project expenses first i will go here in file file here you can see here import and export i will go for in export when you go for export you can see a several options here you will choose spreadsheet because every everybody can use spreadsheet excel as file so next i will go here you can see export option so i will use only activities activities relationship and expenses to export and import the expense cost i will click the next so here i am going to export my project edit bl1 so residential development i will just click the export option and next i will go for the next tab here so here i have added here also a selected template for expenses here i will first remove the old one and i will add a new here and there is a new template name with expenses So when I type expenses, I have three criteria. First, activities. The second one is activities relationship. The third one is expenses. So first, I will go for activities. So what I required here: activities, activity status, WBS code, activity name, start and finish. So I will remove the resources because I don't have a resources assigned here, and I don't even know. So I don't even need resources here. I will just move the activity name here to the third option. So it's better. to navigate the second one is activity relationship so you will not disturb this one this one will be same because this is assigned with activities the third i will go for expenses so in the expenses what is important and what is not important i will show you so the first one is activity id the second one is activity status i will go through the second number activity status and the third one is expense item name and the fourth one is budget cost and the fifth one is actual cost and remaining cost and at completion cost so what what i will do i will go in the units i can also assign the units actual units it here i will just go here and assign actual units here also and i will go in the general in the general i will see here price per unit price per unit is constant while you are going for expense so i will also add price per unit here so it's between in here is budget cost also there is missing budget units so i will go here and find out budget units here so budget units should be after the expense item budget units and then we will multiply with the price per unit and then we will get a budget cost so here i will have a uh, actual cost so before actual cost there should be a units so units will be multiplied with the price per unit and we can get actual cost so at completion cost you can understand the uh, com the, the cost required to complete that activity or that uh, expense so i will press okay this activity expenses is added here so i have selected the template i will go for next so where i have plotting this one it see user and i will paste in my desktop i will press next button and i will just finish this one so this one export is finished i will just close this one and i will minimize the window here i will see edit bl1 on the desktop i will just open my desktop so here you can see in the bottom there is task task predecessors act relationship here so this one is activities 
sheet and this one is activities relationship and this one the project cost is our expenses sheet so first i will see here this one the first column is activity id the second one is activity status the third one is wbs code so here in the project cost there is no wbs code so first i will do here what i will do here i will go here and i will see in the procurement i will go here in procurement i will see the activity id here i will just press control c and i will select edit c 9093 and activity number 4 and i will go here i will add here activity id and i will just paste this one so i have added an activity and its status i will go here and cut here this one and i will paste here in activity status so here is exp expense item name so what is expense item name so for example i have an expense item i will borrow a machine a vibrator machine i will get a vibrator machine this one is expense overhead expense and activity is not started we are just doing a schedule before the project and we can also write here the project is started activity is not started started you can mention the status exact status which is mentioned in the task here so it's it's mentioned here not started we will go here in the project cost we will see here budget units so what are the budget units how many vibrator you required if you want to write here 1 2 3 whatever you required you can write here 2 3 whatever you required so when i write a 2 you can see that it is changed but i will go here and the right click and i will go here in a format cell i will just click on here and text and plus okay so it's converted into text so i write 2 so the third one is price per unit what is the price per unit per day so i will consider it it's 100 and 35 dollars so it's again go there i will just click here and format this and it's 135 135 and this is 2 and the third one what i will do i press x is equal to and i will multiply by this one with this one so i will get the budget total cost i will go here format and i will format this one so this one is 270 the total cost i will go here and format i will press into text here so this one is converted into text this one is 135 this one is 2 so this one is the total budget cost calculated from by price per unit and budget units so i will add some more activities so the unit is in dollars so here activity id go here which activity id do you want to select here any id activity id you can select here costing reinforcement costing of concrete floor anything you want backfilling i will go here and a backfilling i will press control c here and backfilling i need a compactor here and i will paste this one and i will just format so these both activities are similar and these three activities are also similar so i am adding two activities and total five number of expenses here so the total budget cost is this one so 3651 i will just press control s and i will minimize so you see here i will go here in the project primavera p6 and go for activities tab and now i will go here in file now i am just importing back my expenses cost from which sheet i have created so i will just go here in a file and press import button import when i will click on import import format so what format you have do you want to import so i want to import spreadsheet xls file i will go for next here i will select the file from the desktop so there is a desktop i have file edit bl1 i will press okay open so i will go for next so there is an error so what's the mistake is some people think why this is error is coming so this error is coming because i have opened the excel file here i will just remove the excel file from here i will press okay i will go for next here update existing import action so i am just updating my existing project i will go for here import and i will write the project name residential project bl1 i will click on plus and i will go for next i will finish this one this important completed and i will close this one now i will go for project expenses here i will see here 
project expenses. So there is no project expenses here assigned. So why this is no project is assigned here? So I will go here because I did not close my file. That's why I press OK and the error is remain there. I will go again import here and I will press XLS file here and I will go again the file in the desktop here. Press again edit and I will open here. The, this time there is no error. Last time the error come I press OK. So that's why it's not retrieved from there. I will press import here and I will go here import the file. I will press edit bl1 the same what will do so here when i will press the finish button so you can see the five number of expenses are added here so there is also a process did not complete successfully see the log file details so i will see the log file here so you can see some activities are not imported so there are some targeted columns which are not info imported so you can see here later data because of database i will just press cancel so here you can see budget cost. So this compactor cost is not added here. Vibrator machine, these two errors because these two cannot be added here. Machine, because why? Why this is not added here? I will show you why, why this is not added. I will just minimize this one. You can see here because these two errors are coming here. I will go here minimize this one. I will press here. Okay. This one is formatting issue. What I will do here, I will just press this option. I will paste this one. I will convert into number and I will just copy from here and I will paste this one. I will import this one file again. It's spreadsheet here in the desktop. I will BL1. import the file again into that project to 44 number activities this time we will try here so this time the import was successful so the error was there was an error while we apply a formula here so we change the error so the error is disappeared so this time 270 is imported here so you can see by total cost here so we can also go here in activities we can see total project cost also here these two activities I have assigned four number and 16 number. So do, you can see here the cost is present here. So what we will do, we can see also here the price per unit here, budgeted cost here. It's the same what we have assigned here in the Excel sheet here. I will open here. You can get the Excel sheet here. So the this is this file is locked. So what we'll do, we'll cross this one. I will cross this one. I will close the file again, the database. And I will open the project again. So here we have a schedule here, projects here, expenses here. So we have expenses here, vendor here. We will go here and columns and I will add here, customize here. I will add the units, not I will add a cost here, actual cost. I want to add an actual cost here. So what we will do, actual cost, so activities are done, we need to add actual cost here. So actual cost, you can see the column is empty. I will go here, minimize this one and I will go in the Excel file. So I will not add here actual cost, actual units here. So I will just import back this one file. I will just, just control save and just close this one. Make sure I did not added actual units here. So you will see what happened if I do not added actual units here. I will just close this one file and I will go here and back here. I will import the file. Again, you will see the actual units here. Actual cost will be assigned here. I will just go here in the desktop and I will assign air B1 next here. And I will press all the activities here. Next, import. Import to activity and I will press finish. I will close here. So you can see here activity cost is not assigned because I did not assign actual units to it. Make sure you have assigned actual units to it. 
but I do not want to add actual units. I don't want to add actual units because I did not know the actual units there. What I will do, I will just close here the file appearing here. I will go here and add BL1. I will click here actual units. I will just go and simply delete this column. I will save this one and I will just close this one file. I will go here in the Primavera P6. I will go here and import. Import the same procedure we will follow in just few seconds. Just to do it fast. So this one is a total actual cost here will be appear here the actual total cost here. So let's get the actual units from here and actual cost from here. Working files are available in the description. XLS file and XR file of this project is available. So you can go and practice these files and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all my notifications and share this channel to your friends and to all planning engineers and project managers.